Once there was a university professor who was known as an extremely knowledgeable person. There were many research named to him in the field of philosophy. The professor had keen interest in Zen Buddhism practices and wanted to learn more about it. He visited a famous Japanese Zen master. Good morning, master. Good morning, professor. I am pleased to see you here. Please tell me what can I do for you. I have come to learn the pearls of Zen wisdom from you. Sure, why not? Let's go inside. I have come all the way to learn Zen Buddhism from you. Please enlighten me by teaching me about Zen. Okay, professor. But, before that I will request you something. Yes, please tell me Zen master. Professor, you are known for your knowledge everywhere. Please share something with me. Also tell me what all you know about Zen. The professor started telling about his research in different fields one by one. After some time, he started sharing his knowledge about Zen. The Zen master listened him silently for an hour. Zen master interrupted and asked the professor. Hey professor, would you like to have a cup of tea? Sure. One of the Zen master's disciple disappeared and came back with two cups and some steaming tea. The master started pouring the tea into the cup and smiled towards professor. The professor kept continuing sharing his knowledge on Zen to the master. Zen master was pouring the tea slowly slowly and the cup got filled fully. But, he did not stop and kept pouring the tea in the cup. The tea started overflowing on the table. The professor noticed it and continued to watch as the tea overflowed. Soon, the tea started falling on the robes of Professor, and he could no longer restrain himself. Hey, can't you see that the cup is overflown? It can't store more. Stop it. The Zen master did not stop and still he kept pouring tea. I am going. Wait Profeser, let me tell you the reason that I was keep on filling the cup. You have come here, to ask questions and get knowledge about Zen. Yet, you came here full, just like this cup. You have your own ideas, and you have no space. Until you do not have room for more, you will not accept new information. How can I show you Zen, unless you first empty your cup? Moral of the motivational story. You need to stay humble, open yourself to new ideas, be willing to change your preconceptions, and be receptive to new learning. Even though you may be full of knowledge, you should always be open to the fact that there is still more to learn. You need to learn the art of unlearning, so that you can learn new things. What do I mean is to empty your cup, so that, more tea can be poured in it. Preconceived ideas and prejudices always prevent us from seeing the truth. Another important message which this inspirational story communicates. During the conflict resolution and communication, you should allow other person to speak and express his or her grievances or point of view. If you will start telling your concerns, the person at other end will never listen what you have to say. First empty his cup and listen his or her concerns. Once it's done, it will not only help you understand his or her view, but also help you to make him or her listen what you want to communicate. Listening and communication is of utmost importance. Thank you. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to get notification of our future videos. Also like, share and comment on the videos which you like. Thank you.